When I get rich, where I'm running, ain't up. Stay humble, cause life ain't get tough. All of my enemies say you remember me. You wasn't there for me. When I was down and I was out and I was on my knees. Now you're the one in need, but don't you come for free. What's up, y'all? It's Asher. So, guys, I saw. So somebody sent me a, uh, I guess, a request for advice of some sort, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. Um, somebody sent me a, a request for advice for the narcissist that they are dealing with, and in this advice, they expressed to me how um, they're divorced now, and their spouse moved on. They have a new person, and the issues that they're this person is having is the fact that they feel like certain things that their ex-spouse is doing now they're having issues on trying to understand why this person is doing this so let me explain to you but before i do please hit the like comment share subscribe thank you so much i appreciate every single one of you i love y'all and so boom right so so the person told me that you know i've been married for such and such amount of time we got a divorce and we've been divorced for like a good amount of time and I've realized that she is first of all she changed her name in her Instagram account from her maiden name from her maiden name to my name which is you know her married name she done that she's putting little subliminals on Instagram stories and She's doing little things like or future faking, telling people that we're going to get back together and all this other stuff, right? So the point of me saying all of this is because of, you know, my response to that message that I saw. I told this person, I said, first of all, what you have to understand is, this is one of the biggest things I always say in all of my videos. Narcissists crave attention. I'm going to say it again. Narcissists crave attention. If you give a narcissist attention, that is all they want. They're, they're getting exactly what they want. They, they, they crave for that attention. And being that they've been divorced for years, they've been separated, she's moved on, he's moved, whatever the case may be, and she's still trying to throw little jabs out there like changing the Instagram name to their married name or throwing stories out there trying to make it seem like he gon' see and or unprivating their their account now so you can be able to see out in public how good their life is and how happy they are and how great they moved on and blah don't fall for any of that shit okay don't fall for any of it because literally it's just little breadcrumbs this that's that's what i call they drop little breadcrumbs when people say breadcrumbs they think of Oh, you're just giving me a little to stay around and it's like yes <laughs> these breadcrumbs that these people are doing is also to get you to track and go to exactly where they are essentially because when you see breadcrumbs you're gonna when you see a whole line of shit you're gonna follow it right not every not every aspect but you're gonna follow it most likely right so oh don't mind me I'm bossing up and down on a ball but most likely you're probably going to follow that so her dropping her breadcrumbs, which is the changing of the name after two years, the unprivating her Instagram account and future faking and telling people that they're going to get back together and, and and posting stories on Instagram. Like, all of that stuff is literally just cries for attention. She wants the attention from her ex-husband and she wants him to know, hey, I may not be paying you any mind fully like you may want or deserve, but what I am doing is... I'm going to try to gaslight you and I'm going to try to be controlling and be manipulative to get you to come to me. Because essentially that's what she's trying to do. And I told this person, I said, listen, unless, because I would never tell nobody don't go back to nobody. Unless you want to, go ahead. By all means. But if you're in a position to where you don't want this anymore, you don't want to be treated like this, you don't want this person to be in your life anymore then that is where you need to make a decision and go I'm ignoring all of it I'm ignoring it because I know my worth I know what I deserve I know what I want and if that's a person you want by all means go ahead I can't tell you what to do but essentially a lot of people don't want to be with a narcissist unless you're a narcissist yourself or whatever case may be 
because a narcissist it's, it's, it's narcissistic abuse is something different it is a whole different type of pain a whole different type of abuse a whole different type of scarring and a lot of people I wouldn't I'm not, I'm not gonna say can't handle it as if it's like like not such a huge task what I am gonna say is it is a task that not everybody is willing to actually take on so being that the narcissist is going to be a narcissist a lot of people was like or would say I, I don't have time for this I'm moving on I'm doing me I don't want you so if that's the case and if that's you I need you to understand those little breadcrumbs that they're giving or these little breadcrumbs that they're dropping and little hints or whatever ignore it all don't even give them the satisfaction and be like oh mm-hmm I saw he stole my story. I saw she stole my story. Mm-hmm. She want me still. Don't give them that satisfaction. Because once you give them that satisfaction, that is opening the door again. That's opening the door once again. Because you can't be a dog in a dog's game. Like, you can't. You can't. Or even if you may be able to. It's a waste of time, my love. It's a waste of time for you screw them because they're going to do what they want to do anyway but it's a waste of time for you so get rid of them let it go don't pay attention to these little breadcrumbs that they drop in do you live your life move on unless you want them if you want them cool do you go at them contact them make up with them fix your problems with them cool by all means do you but if you do not want them move on leave them alone don't do it don't waste your time i hope i helped you out in any sort of way if i have let me know in the comment section down below i'm gonna see y'all in the next one i love every single one of y'all make sure you like comment share subscribe bye